What we are announcing today is an agreement that will take effect from the 1st of January 2014. It will regulate the sale and purchase of six and a quarter million tons of iron ore from either mine, either Tabazimbi or, um, or Sishin, uh, at the election of Kumba. We have uh, furthermore agreed a price, an all-in price, a single price in, in essence, from Kumba to us, Limital South Africa, for iron ore that meets the preset specification. So it's a massive big change from what we had before where we had one supply agreement that governed uh, Sishin ore and another supply agreement that, that governed what was essentially a captive mine uh, at, at Tabazimbi. And the cost overall will be governed based on Sishin, on the Sishin DMS plant, which again, Norman will expound on. All right. um, on that Sishin DMS plant cost plus 20%. We have two major plants at Sishen. One is called the DMS, which is the dense media separation plant, and the other one is the JIG plant. Uh, AMSA offtech comes from the DMS plant, and therefore, um, w when we calculate the cost plus 20, it will be with effect to that particular plant and not the cost associated uh, with the JIG plant. The agreements that uh, we're going to be signing just now, uh, as Nkul said, will <coughs> have a holistic view of what we are going to be supplying over the life of Sishen. Uh, we feel that uh, this agreement is consistent with the beneficiation aspirations of the government. Uh, and therefore, we think that this agreement is in the spirit uh, of what the nation wants to achieve in terms of uh, all supply to the domestic market. It also means that the arbitration uh, will no longer be necessary. The agreement, of course, is subject to uh, Sishe Nayan Oil Company retaining 100% of the mining rights. If we don't have the mining rights, we cannot produce uh, uh, on behalf of AMSA. Uh, furthermore, we've assumed that uh, uh, any changes in uh, legislation or regulation with regard to uh, domestic iron ore supply will not have a material detrimental effect uh, on this agreement. Nku mentioned about Tabazimbi. I think a very big potential positive outcome uh, is the possibility that this agreement presents to extend the life of Tabazimbi mine. Uh, based on the current uh, configuration of Tabazimbi, Tabazimbi had a very short life left. Uh, and the costs were escalating significantly, uh, as we have said in previous announcements. So we have now embarked upon studies to evaluate the viability of Tabazimbi's extension of life through uh, certain low-grade beneficiation technologies. We have had early indications of this, we have had results, and those results are very encouraging. So a potential mine life extension at Tabazimbi will obviously uh, impact positively on the about 1,300 people uh, that are employed there, including 850 permanent staff. Uh, and of course, the small to medium-sized suppliers located uh, in that area, in the immediate vicinity, and the community around that mine. Um, we are hoping this will be successful, and if it is, then Tabazimbi will continue to produce at a reasonable price for a very long time indeed.